Welcome to another episode of the Valorant Tips and Tricks sent by you series. The series where I show Valorant Tips and Tricks that you guys sent to me. Like always, if you submit your tricks, you have a chance to win a battle pass. So feel free to send your clips in the Discord server. And now, let's start the video. Let's start with a very unique Yoru mechanic. Did you know that if you cause your gate crash towards a wall, it doesn't go straight forward. It slowly turns either to the left or the right. And that's also the reason why it's going slower when against the wall. You see this more clearly when the wall ends. And when your gate crash hooks the wall for too long, the angle will be 90 degrees and it will stand still. Still, like you see in the clip in the background. Whoa, 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 Mr. Lowlander, slow down. What the <coughs> did you just talk about? Well, luckily for you, you don't have to understand it. Just know that you can make some interesting lineups, like this one. Where you stand in this corner and aim at this wall, your gate crash should land somewhere over here, right? This is not the case. Because your gate crash is hugging the wall for a very long time, it slowly turns all the way to the left. And that's why your gate crash will land into Cubby. Yeah, I know, it sounds complicated, but look at this clip. Oh, what the hell? Don't miss me. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Wait, how, how did you do it? Blow your name. Well, now you know, my friend. And good luck to everyone finding those lineups. Yeah, my brain also hurts after that one. So now I just want to show you a simple clip. Easy peasy, trigger discipline. And wait, did you see that? Doc Meow got four kills in a round and he still lost the round. Feels bad, man. It's also very nice to see that you're using the app of the sponsor of this video, Valorant Tracker. For those who didn't know, Valorant Tracker is an app designed to get the edge over your enemies in Valorant. It has tons of features. You could, for example, see a match summary during the match. Always nice to have that. But this is just one small part. When you open the Valorant Tracker app, the real magic happens. On the app, you could find tons of analytics like kill death ratio, accuracy, and the amount of aces that you got. You can even put these analytics analytics on the timeline so you see what periods you played good and bad and if you're still improving you also have things like map stats weapon stats and agent stats apparently it took me 113 matches before i reached diamond during the chamber to diamond series that's uh, actually more than i thought could also go to your match history and see how well you played some games easy 25 kills my friends and these are just some features you could also find guides and things like that so if you think this is interesting feel free to download it with the link in the description it's completely free so why not try it out today and now let's continue the video Let's continue with the nice cypher trick on Fracture. You see these stairs? You could actually place your trap on the stairs. There's a high chance that the enemies won't expect this. And I mean, every enemy will walk up the stairs if they push. So easy kills for you. Now let's continue with the chamber trick. I wish I knew during the chamber to diamond series. Place the first half of your teleport to somewhere. It doesn't really matter. And the second one in this corner. This setup is especially good if you are lurking and the enemies are rotating early. Because with this setup, you can actually walk all the way to vent room. Look if enemies are there, kill them and then teleport back. Easy peasy lurk for Fist made. Out of teleports ready. One enemy ah. remaining. Stop using this arrow and then wall bang when you're playing sofa. Well, actually, it's a good trick, but don't use it more than once in a game. Because once you do it, people will expect it and wait for it. To switch things up, you could use this arrow. Stand against this wall and aim at the right corner of the fence. When you shoot your arrow with one charge and one bounce, it will land on the hood. Yes, my friends, behind the enemy. So even people who are camping to destroy your Reckon Dart, you will still tag them and kill them easy peasy. Now, cool trick on Icebox. When you stand over here, you can't really look the snowman. But did you know that when you jump on the fence, you suddenly are able to? Yeah, it's pretty cool and might be useful in some situations. Now a risky but cool trick you can use with KO. When you throw your molly somewhere, a lot of people might pay less attention. This is because they might not expect you pushing. So we're gonna use that. Throw your molly, after that immediately throw a flash, push through your molly and easy kills for you. Good job, Koei. <laughs> I didn't expect it. Did you guys know that Split temporarily got disabled? And it was all because of this bug. Apparently, with Jet, you could jump over here. Yeah, I know. Pretty OP. Luckily, this isn't possible anymore, but I thought it was a fun trick to show. Here a cool trick with Killjoy on Ascent. If you place the right foot of your sentry gun on the crack, you can stand roughly on your sentry and head glitch the enemies. I really love head glitch spots. It's like playing Where is Waldo in Valorant. This next trick is very cool if you want to go for an aggressive lurk. For those who didn't know, you are able to shoot through this wall over here. You can use this mechanic in combination with a nice fade lineup. With fade, if you are lurking, stand still over here and aim at the bottom of the iron thing. Now when you throw your octopus, it will land in front of the door. And it will spot most of middle. Very nice. So after you throw it, use the wall and easy kills for you. There's no way that the enemies will expect this coming. Now a very simple one. When you jump on these boxes with Cypher, you could place your camera on that building. This is a nice one to catch the enemies flanking you. And also nice, you're able to spot the orb. So when it suddenly disappears, you know something fishy is going on. Now a fun fact about this series. In 28 episodes, I think people sent in over 1000 tricks but i never see race double jumps and this episode we suddenly got two so here are two nice race double jumps you can use what is this last player standing 
Or what? Let me know in the comments which one you found better. This next trick that someone sent in, I actually tested it out myself. With Omen, at the start of the round, use your smoke over there. The enemies might think that you're just smoking them off. But in fact, this is a sneaky trick. Use the smoke immediately, be careful for the entrance, and jump out of nests to teleport in your smoke. Yes, my friends, I know it sounds crazy, and I thought it was crazy. So I had to test it out, and look at this clip. I think he saw me, right? Oh, it worked! It worked. Yes, thanks for sending that one in. Let's do another trick with Omen on Icebox, but this one is a little bit less risky. Simply use your smoke on this box and you suddenly have a one-way. It's actually a pretty good one, I like one-ways. So let's do another one-way, this time with Sage on Ascent. When you plant the spike over here, just place your wall on the ledge. After that, go to a main, wait till you hear the defuse and kill the enemies. This works especially good with an operator. And the good thing is, from the enemy's perspective, they might not notice that it's a one-way. Easy peasy, watermelon. Also, did you know this was possible? I didn't know it. <laughs> Apparently with the chamber TP you can get just in range to TP behind the sage wall. A nice one to flank the enemies. Shot. Keep in mind when you use this trick one sage wall thing will get destroyed. But from the enemy's perspective it's just one wall. So they might think that you shot it or something. It's been a while since I showed the killjoy ultimate with strong grenade lineup. But this one is very good. If you place your ultimate in this corner the only place where enemies can hide is on the back of sight. So here's the strong grenade lineup for you. Go to the right of the door and match the right diamond of your C ability with the corner of the building. I know not that hard. Then throw your nano swarm and easy kills for you. And let's stay on haven for a nice cypher one way. When you cleared C sight you could quickly go to CT and if you don't see any enemies destroy your cage over here and voila you have a nice one way my friends however i would only recommend to use this one if you took c quickly because you know some enemies could run like sonic now a mechanic that might be useful to know did you know that when you use your wolf with fate and an enemy shoots with an operator a body shot on you you actually will survive with one hp yeah pretty cool information look how lucky woody was enemy, yeah. enemy. Do you have a very aggressive playstyle? If so, you might like this risky trick. At the start of the round, throw your smoke there and walk to this corner. There's a high chance that the enemies won't expect you over here. I remember you tested it. This is the second time you send it in a risky trick, but good job, my friend. I respect your playstyle. <laughs> and this is not the only time you use this trick. I mean, look at this, man. This guy is a beast. In last episode I showed that if you throw the fate orb on this ledge, the enemies will bounce up and down like a bunny. But the lineup was a little bit hard to remember, so here's an easier one. Stand in this corner, aim at the corner of the building, run forward and as soon as your crosshair hits the truck, jump and throw your orb. With a bit of practice you can get it very consistently. Easy kills for you my friends. Unless this got patched. I think it did it got patched, right? Anyway, something that I know for sure is still in the game is this wall. If you place your wall over here you can actually look in between the corner of the building. I know it's such a sneaky but easy spot. And what makes it even better is that if the enemies push, they are not able to see your wall. Good luck on making those kills. And while we're on split, here's another wall. I'm not sure what to think about it. It might be obvious, but on the other hand, you could look all the way to the back of sight. I mean, look at Taxi Fader. Easy kills. One enemy Red. remaining. And this is it already. Thank everybody so much for submitting their tricks. I hope you learned something and I see you guys in the next one. Peace.